Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday over the weekend. We're doing legs right now. We're getting into our leg training. We're just warming up right now. We're about to go into our working weight and we're gonna do a leg day video. So I have my training partner with me. Babe is right here with me. Babe, say hi. <laughs> he pushes me, you guys. So this is gonna be a really good workout. We're just gonna take you through absolutely everything that we're gonna do. Right now, we're doing stiff leg deadlifts. We just warmed up and I'm about to go into my first working set. So enough talking, welcome to leg day with myself and Babe. And let's get a good leg day in, you guys. Here we go, let's do this. and then you're not focused on your on your muscle you're not focused on the movement feeling it in the target muscle group so right here Ernesto he's really big on going nice and slow sometimes I'm very much into like getting into the music I start dancing but he's right you're in the gym to work and to focus on the body part that you're training that day so focus get some good weight on that bar lift it right and feel it in the right muscle we're going into leg press, and this is gonna be doing bilateral, so feet together, leg press, and we're gonna do some hip thrust. So here we go. Always warm up. We're going into a new movement pattern. So this is warming up with 25 plates on each side right here. Then he's gonna do a couple feeder sets after that, and then go into his working weight. So really, reps and sets, it's just a number. You really have to make sure that you're feeling nice and warmed up before you even get started. So he's like nice and slow and controlled. Oh. He's tracking all the way down into his chest. His butt is not lifting off of the seat. And he's focusing Ooh. on feeling it right in the teardrop. Good. 25 or 35? 45. All of the movements, they kind of, they, it's a leg day, right? Oh. So everything, you're already going to be a little bit warmed up from your, from your stiff leg deadlift. So you always want to test the weight though. So you see he's ready to go. Now we put the weight on and it's go time. So first working set right here. Rep range is 12. 12 reps. 14, 12. Focusing on that quad and that teardrop. Oh, shit. All the way in. Good, sir. Oh. One. And he's pressing through the heels. You want to make sure you're pressing through the heels, too. Good job. Looking for that pain. It's like a good burning feeling that you're going for. Six. Oh. Good job. Seven. Yeah. Good job. Eight, good job, don't lock the knees. Nine, oh. good job. Ten, oh. good job. Eleven, oh. good job. Twelve. Oh, oh fuck.
How you feeling? Good. Just finished off with single leg press. Quads are on fire. Yeah. Finished off with the hip thrust. Babe just finished off here. His quads are on fire. I'm gonna try to live up to his his work. So I saw that he was doing this at the time. I'm gonna try it. You guys, we always try it this way, right? So babe, why do you do this? With the toe? It like helps you balance more to go down a little bit more with the other with the working leg. Yeah, okay, you guys, let's try it this way. So I saw babe was doing it like this. So you're pushing through the single leg at top, obviously. Your working leg is over here, so you're gonna be pressing through the heel. Let's see how this feels. Alright, so 12 reps. Go a little bit higher with the leg, working leg. Working leg a little higher? A little bit higher, yep. Go all the way down. Down, down, yep. Ooh. Boom. Okay. Yes, there you go. That already feels so Let's much go. Better. Boom. 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 Vamos this. <clears throat> Flex the quad at the top, yep. Flex it, yep. Boom, yes, ahí, vamos. Boom, yep, let's go, vamos, come on. Boom, vamos, come on, flex it, come on, let's go. Vamos, 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 come on. Yep, come on, vamos. Guys, burning? Yes. A little bit break, y luego, luego, luego en la otra, eh? Okay, the toe helps a lot. You're not pushing through the toe at the bottom. It does help you feel more stable. Try it, you guys. All right. Tú puedes. Respira. Come on. It's supposed to burn. Come on. Let's go. Vamos. Yep. Flex it. Yep. Yes. Let's go. You see that flex when it starts shaking? Flex. Yep. Let's go. Otra. Flex. Yep. Bien. Lista? Vamos. Vamos. Boom. Don't lock it. Just flex. Come on. Two, three, four, five. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't quit on me. Come on. Six. Come on. Vamos. Vamos. This. Seven. Finish it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Eight. Come on. Come on. Nine. Come on. Vamos. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Come on. God. All the way up, all the way up with that hip, come on. All the way up, press through the heels. Heels are together, press through the heels, yes. So frog pumps are next, you guys, you see Ernesto doing the frog pumps right now. Two ways that we can do the frog pumps are feet together, heels together, or you're on the edges of your feet, so like this, and heels together. Whichever way feels better for you. Me and Ernesto seem to like it with our feet flat down, but the heels together. So we have 35 pound dumbbell. These are gonna be tap and go. We're going into side lying hip raise. Right now we're doing high reps on this one. So we're gonna do 12 reps on each leg. We're gonna bring our elbow down and we're feet together only for the start of this because we're gonna come up into a hip raise and we're gonna do a separation at the top. So hand on our hip and we're gonna come up. Ah. <laughs> My glutes are clear from the frog pumps. Okay. <laughs> and bring your, your knee, the knee at the top all the way up and drive. Through. Two. Three. Four. Core. This is going to be a core exercise, the only one that we did 
for this leg day. So with this one, we wanna make sure that we're controlling the legs, not too much swinging. Try to keep your core nice and tight. De eso se trata. So also, actually I have them right here. We're gonna go ahead and use these. They're elbow supports. So it's gonna help give more stability to your core. Babe, do you wanna use the elbow support? Yeah, instead um, of this. Yeah, yeah. instead of the grips, we can, you can use the, the hand grips if that's all you have, but sometimes your grip just gives out either way, just because you're gonna be hanging and you're trying to keep it slow and controlled. So if you can get your hands on some of these, I've had these for years, I think I've them at Walmart. Oh yeah? And so you're gonna put your elbows through, and then you're gonna go ahead and start your hanging leg raise. So right here, we're on the machine, make sure it's locked, and then you're gonna start in your hanging position. Bend your knees, and you don't wanna be swinging here, okay? Yeah. So we're gonna keep it nice and tight. You're gonna come up, one, Eight, nine, ten. Now, the advanced version would be you here, right? Here, something like this. I'm not that advanced. <laughs> Great exercise for low, lower core strength. So, it's gonna go in, same thing. You're gonna put your elbows through, nice and secure. Don't swing these, don't brush these. No estás en la carrera, right? And this one tells me this all the time. You're not in there, you're in there to work and focus. So go nice and slow, control. You're gonna feel it right down there, right in the pelvis area. Did you feel it there, babe? Yeah. Three. Four. Let's go ahead and switch this one. To the front. Do you want to try it over here, babe? Just because it's a little bit higher, I think it'll give us a little bit more of a like a stretch, right? Yeah. Here. You guys, that's it for the workout. A couple things that you want to take away from this video. Don't rush your workout. If you have the music going, that's great, but don't let it be a distraction. Like if Mr. was telling me, we're in here to work, to burn it out, and to kind of torture yourself for a little bit too, right? So it does have to be effective. Focus on your workout, get a good pump, happy glute building and leg building. Mix it up. If you want to focus more on quads, you notice that Mistel didn't do the hip thrust, things like that. But for my ladies, just follow what I did. More glute focused because we all love to train glutes every single day of the week, right? So if you liked the video, like, subscribe, share the video if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave right now, before you leave.